Fabulously optimized this is not what a lot of people would describe Minecraft, especially by default. But this mod pack is called Fabulously Optimized, and its goal is to boost your FPS a ton, right? Possibly even over 400 FPS as possible. It, it's kind of insane what it does. It combines a bunch of different mods, kind of creates the settings as well, and gets things ready to go to make Minecraft look good at a high FPS. Let's go ahead, get it installed. The first thing we want to do is go to the second link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. This is CurseForge. CurseForge is the installer for the Fabulously Optimized Mod Pack, so once you're here, click the yellow Download CurseForge button to be taken to the official download page. On this page, click the orange Download button, and it will start downloading automatically in the bottom left. With this downloading, you want to go ahead and move it to your desktop. Do that by clicking the little Windows icon, top up to my screen, bottom of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Top in download, you have this downloads file folder here, and there is CurseForge. With that, we can go ahead and drag this to our desktop and open up CurseForge right like so. So double click on CurseForge and it will open the installer. It is worth noting you will need to install Overwolf with, with this. It will happen automatically, but Overwolf is the parent company of CurseForge and their app kind of runs, CurseForge's app runs through Overwolf. That's why you need both. Unless it's going to click next here, and then it's going to ask which ones you want to, you know, have a desktop icon for. We just want CurseForge. Click next again. You don't need this, so just click next again. And then it's going to go ahead and start downloading CurseForge. Once this is finished, we'll be able to open it up. It'll create a uh, desktop icon here, but we can also just click a launch from this installer. So wait for it. My desktop background changed in that jump cut. Of course it would. I don't like when my desktop backgrounds change in jump cuts because it kind of feels like I'm hiding something. I'm just not. We were just waiting. Anyway, let's go ahead and click on the red launch or orange launch button there. If you Closed out of that, by the way, you can also open it with the shortcut. Then we'll go ahead and open up CurseForge for the first time, right like so. And then once it is open for the first time, you can actually delete CurseForge from your desktop. So yeah, don't need to keep that installer forever. Some people ask that, like, can I delete this? Yes, you can. So let's go ahead and delete that, right like so. And now we're in CurseForge. It's so easy to install CurseForge mod packs from this point. To do that, click on Minecraft. Now, it says I have a mod pack installed. That is technically true. We can delete that. You may need to click like activate or something like that in Minecraft here. This is kind of what it looks like on other games. Minecraft is a bit different because it's not ran through Steam or anything like that. So just know that if you have to click activate or install, it's perfectly normal. Then you'll land on this page. You can browse all the mine mod packs that you can install, but most importantly up at the top, you can search for Fabulously. Did I misspell that? I, I, I totally did. I totally did. But you search for Fabulously Optimized and it will pop up, assuming you can uh, you can spell it correctly. There we go. Sorry about that, everyone. There we go. Now it is spelled correctly. And uh, if you delete the period, it will appear. There it is, finally. From Robot Coer. There we go. Let's go ahead and click on Install. And it will now install this mod pack. It's only 50 mods, mostly set up for performance and adding in things like shaders and making Minecraft look good. So it's super fast. You can click play here, but you can also come back to the My Mod Packs tab and hover over it and click play there as well. It's then gonna open up the Minecraft launcher here. You may need to log into the Minecraft launcher. It's perfectly normal. This is the default Minecraft launcher, the same one you're downloading from Microsoft. That's what this is. So 100% safe to log into it if you need to. But once you open this up, you should have fabulously optimized there. You can click play, click play again, and now it is opening up right like so. Super quick, super simple, and super easy to get fabulously optimized, opened up, and ready to go. Once it is opened, we'll show you that it's working and we'll jump in game, but at this point, you've got it installed. Here we are. We are now open. I should have uh, changed our resolution so you guys could see a bit better. Let's go ahead and fix that really quickly. Just kind of rough it in. Make There we go. And now if we click on mods here, we can see all the different mods that are added in. It is tons of them. But we can also jump into a quick single player world and just show that this is in fact running, but it's installed. I'm also curious what the FPS is and how good it looks because why not? That's what this mod pack's uh, kind of bragging about, right? It's bragging about it's going to look fabulous and it's going to be optimized. Let's see how well it delivers. And here we are in game. We can go ahead and hit FN and F3 and it will pull this up. We can see our FPS is uh, locked at 60. Well played, but locked at 60 is pretty good. It also does look, uh, look at this uh, sort of, you know, you've got the, the, the texture blending. Is that what that's called there? And, and it's on the snow too. It's looking pretty good, looking pretty good. But let's unlimit this. I'm kind of curious if we unlimit the FPS, what we're really getting. So our frame rate, let's see here. There it is, max frame rate is set to unlimited, but V-Sync is on. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Apply, let's see what it goes to. 474 FPS, it delivered. That's actually impressive, I was not expecting that. But I'm also on very, very good hardware, but if my hardware is getting over 400 FPS, that means there's a lot of people who can play on this mod pack 
that might not have been able to play otherwise. You can also, I believe, go in here and activate things like shaders and stuff like that if you really want to, but nevertheless, that is how to install the Fabulously Optimized Mod Pack in Minecraft. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.